We're going live again. We're trying. This is like take three. So this is what happens, people. So I'm waiting for Misty because we're going to get this. We are going to get this. Misty, I'm waiting for you here, hon. <laughs> All right. Let's see. what. I <laughs> Hello. There you are. Let's see if the magic happens. Oh, there we go. Add you. It's adding. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess it's just mobile only. Lesson learned. <laughs> oh my lord. It would be. I think it's because of the mobile. I think so. I think it has to be a mobile thing. So now we know. Facebook app only on the phone. Only Facebook Live. Yeah. I, I'm hearing the one echo. Do you? I'm going to try putting on my headphones and see if that helps. Okay, I can do the same. If... Okay. Is that better? I, I still hear it, though. I have to get my adapter. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that is all good. good. Technology, man. Yep. Don't, Don't you love, love it? it? Okay, that's way better. Okay. Way better. Okay, let's try that. You hear oh, that that's one? awesome. That's perfect. Better? Okay. Yay. We got it. We got it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Okay. So, we're here. So, we're good. No, it's Friday. That's, We've survived. Yeah. Three. All good. Exactly. <laughs> so, let me give a little introduction about you because you are the guest. So, Misty Buck founded Miss Inc. LLC, a boutique social media and content marketing firm in January of 08 in order to help businesses take the stress out of digital marketing, and boy, is there stress in digital marketing. I am a person <laughs> in that situation. Her passion is fusing creativity and strategy to tell each client's unique story. Uh, she's regularly invited to speak on social media best practices and provides social media training for companies. In 2013, she was honored as top entrepreneur in South Florida, uh, in South Florida My Business Leader magazine or Business Leader Magazine, I don't know what it's in. She is also the two-time recipient of Internet Marketing Award by the Daily Business Review. So, Yay. welcome, Misty. Lots of uh, achievements there. It's been a long time, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, thanks for being here, and I'm really, really excited because we always keep saying, we're going to get together, we're going to talk, we're going to have this thing, and I am excited that you're finally here. And I just want to say, since you're here, to whoever's watching, that this is it's really geared, like I want to talk about it towards realtors, but it's really geared for anybody in business who is doing their social media and they're keeping up with their content and posts and all that stuff. So if you're in real estate, awesome. But if you're not, you should stick around because it's going to help you too. Great. Yeah. Great. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm in a new office, by the way, which is why everything is so kind of like blank and bland. So yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's good. That's so good. <laughs> hopefully they're going to get that organized soon we'll look a little prettier next time but looks great right here, so. as long as we can hear each other we're good yeah that's true <laughs> that's true we finally All got right. on here so let's just jump right in go for it okay so um and then we'll just kind of roll from there uh i wanted to i guess the first thing that i want to talk about is um it's so trendy to self-manage your mm -hmm. advertising and you know it's become so inexpensive with like um, you know, Facebook ads and this and the other. But the reality is, is that a lot of times when you do jump in to do it yourself, it's really not that simple. Mm -hmm. And it becomes so time consuming. And I feel as my own business owner, sometimes that 
I, I'm spinning my wheels and I'm doing stuff that's not actually producing dollars. It's mm -hmm. just kind of like busy work. And I know I'm not alone because I've spoken to other people who are solopreneurs and who are, you know, doing all this stuff. And it just becomes so time consuming that at the end, when you sit down, you're like, well, what am I doing? Is this producing right. any money for me? Right. So I want your take on that and how, you know, um, people are doing it and what would you suggest or what's your take on that? So I think that you're right on point that I think a lot of people are self-managing their digital marketing specifically. So social media, emails, your web, like, you know, people, are, there's so much information accessible today that it's, um, you know, a lot easier to self-manage. But the challenge becomes, because as we've seen, things change so quickly, so fast, right? So as somebody who does this day in and day out, what we're doing is we're always looking for strategy, for audience, for messaging, for testing things. So when you're trying to like a DIY effort, that's not always so easy because you're wearing a million other hats at the same time. And so that 100%. makes it difficult to sit there and nail things down. Um, so I think it is possible to do it on your own, but I do think that people, you know, when people think of social media, um, they'll say, oh, I can do that because I know how to post to Facebook and I know how to post to Instagram. And it's really not that simple anymore. It was once upon a time. It is not right. that simple anymore because now we're looking at a time investment. But then you have to understand your brand and you have to have a deep understanding of that. And then not only that, you have to know your audience and then you have to create the content and then you have to plan that out. And then you have to actually get it out there and then you have to engage with your audience and then there's so many different layers in other it's words a lot. that go into it <laughs> it's a lot like it, it yeah. really is a lot I don't think a lot of people I think they un people underestimate the amount of effort that goes into it so um, you know really thinking I can't let me just go let me get a nice picture let me do a good video let me you know and, and and then like that's another layer of it having to come over the fear of taking selfies and of doing right. videos a lot of people have that where they're like I don't want to be on camera I don't want to be yeah. there. but I see time and time again where the best posts that my clients have are the ones that they're featured in and every time they're like oh my god why does someone want to see my face or hear my voice um, right you know even I do once a week a video on my social media channels with a different marketing tip every single week and that takes effort and it takes planning. I love those thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much but I do them because it's um, it, it's it's a pain it really is a pain right. you know and it's a lot of work people don't realize it takes editing it takes like you know positioning it putting in the fonts and right. it's a lot it's a lot and figure out what am I gonna say what do people want to hear about and then kind right. of again that self-talk too of mm -hmm. like, like the mental preparation of okay let me go on camera let me my voice is not that annoying even though I think it's annoying <laughs> right right we all like, think that right so there's so many things that go into it so I think having a the biggest thing that will help is having a plan and then mm -hmm. but that plan has to be based on a strategy that's based on your message and on your branding and that can be difficult right. to do on your own so if you do mm -hmm. want to do it on your own I definitely 100% suggest investing a little bit of money into working with somebody as a consultant um, or as an example I'm doing a workshop coming up next week where you're gonna plan all that kind yeah. of stuff out we're gonna look at all those different layers and build out a plan and messages from that instead of this very fly by the seat of your pants strategy that people go by um, so you know, you develop a little bit more of a deep understanding and then mm -hmm. you're able to commit the time to it, I think you'll be more successful. Right. I agree. Yeah. And I'm excited because I'm going to sign up for that, Yay. Uh, we that workshop you? of yours. I'm excited <laughs> to go because it is, it's, it's a lot to kind of, you know, and I find this and I'm going to, that'll lead me to my other question, which just a second, because my dog keeps knocking on the door. Oh. Yay, <laughs> Come on. <my> <laughs> so, you know, it leads me to the other question, which is, so people are, come here, Zoe, come here, come here. So people are so, and I guess me too, and, and I want to talk about it because, you know, I do um, presentation to realtors on social media just because I've become very active in social media and putting out videos and putting on, right. um, you know, the best content that I could put out. Hi, Zoe. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah. So one of the, she's adorable. She's a little cookie. Oh. So one of the things that people, you know, um, find themselves doing is that they have several accounts mm -hmm. and I want your opinion about that because you know and this is what I think and I want to I want to get what you think about okay. what I'm gonna say 
So I think, and this is what I've determined because it's been a lot of trial and error, a lot of trial and error, where people are, have the two accounts, like I have my personal account and then I have my business account. So, and I think that that's okay for Facebook because it's work, you know, where you have your two mm -hmm. business accounts. Mm -hmm. This is only my opinion. But I feel like on, on Instagram, Instagram is more like, your life, like what do you, and I guess it depends on the brand, right? But like, they want to get to know your personal lifestyle, like right. what you do, like here I am with my dog, like I'm making dinner, like, you know, that type of thing. Um, because you do all those lives and everything. And then maybe on the, I, I don't know, because it becomes a lot to con you lot. know to, to put stuff on my personal one and then on my business one right. and then on a blog. And it's just, so I, I'm wondering, and I'm, and I'm kind of taking the, the, the thought that maybe for Instagram, I should just have one, like my personal one, and then the stuff that I do business-wise, I can talk about that here and there on there. But really, mm -hmm. I'm posting pictures of my kids and my dog and my dinner and that type of thing that people right. really want to get to know the person that you are. Does that make right. any sense or is that it like It does off make sense. And that's actually one of the number one questions that I get is they're like, how do I, how much personal, how much professional, where do, like, where do those lines go? So... I think it really depends on your unique situation. So here's what I mean by that. So if you are, I'm going to use real estate as an example. Yeah. So let's say you are a realtor and you have a team, then maybe you want a team page and then you want an individual page. Mm -hmm. um, I've gotten that question. I mean, I'm saying that because I've gotten that question a lot, actually. I'm from, sure, from yeah. Agents. So they're like, how do I do that? So if you have the um, a team and you have your personal, I would make sure that you have both and that you're branding both because mm -hmm. let's say you decide not to be a team anymore one day, some, mm -hmm. that, that account can be changed into somebody else's name, but only one person's going to get that. <laughs> so that's something to sort yeah. of keep in mind if you're putting all your eggs in that team Instagram basket. Um, mm -hmm. So you definitely want to have your personal brand. I think it's very normal today for people to have be branded as individuals and, you know, I just was actually talking to a group of high schoolers last week about social media and, and it, 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 this is, so this is universal. Social media is a business. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. So especially with this pay to play environment that we're in, if you're not willing to invest advertising dollars, you're probably not going to get the, the, you know, the mileage out of it that you mm -hmm. want. But that, I mean, that's another mm -hmm. conversation. So I think, you know, when you're really considering those things, when you're deciding, do I want, so I have a page for my business for Miss Inc. where I talk about all of my marketing stuff. And then I have a personal Instagram on my personal Instagram. I talk about, you know, I have my personal stuff there too, but then I might share a story or a post from the business um, page. That's my strategy. But if you're a solar solopreneur, let's say, right. And mm -hmm. so you're the face, so you're the everything of your brand. You don't have time to keep up with building out another page. You're trying to keep things simple you're already kind of struggling as it is to get things done and get the content out yeah. there <laughs> then I would say don't be afraid of sharing um, business content and I say that because another thing that I hear all the time is okay but who on my personal page really wants to hear about my business you'd be surprised yeah you yeah. really would be surprised because the whole name of the the whole number one reason for social media is not to direct direct you know dollar to dollar leads it's mm -hmm. to build relationships, right? It's yeah. social networking. So it's like when you're yeah. investing time in a networking event, same thing on social media. So, you know, you have to find, and this comes through testing, right? And finding out how are people responding to your business content versus your personal content. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I always kind of toe the line of doing, because I do view social media in its entirety as a business. Like to me, the right. personal use of it just doesn't really exist anymore. So yeah. um, I think you know, to post mostly business and then like maybe 60 business, 40 personal mm -hmm, and kind mm -hmm. of see how that, how that goes, how that goes. because you never know something that you're going to say or that you're going to put out there. Cause if your goal with your social media is business, it's not just to be like connecting with your friends. If the right. goal really is business, then that's what you need to be focusing on in your content and the right. amount of things that you're putting on there. Um, because that's how people are going to get to know what you do. You yeah. may say something that they may not even know that you do that. Oh, I never knew that you did that, you know? <laughs> so. Right, right. Well, it's funny because there's a bunch of friends of mine who are realtors, and um, and what they say is like, you know, I can't believe so-and-so, my neighbor or whoever, my friend, my mm -hmm. buddy, you know, he just listed his house with somebody else. Yeah. And I'm like, 
Yes. Well, you know, because a lot of people, and I get that because a lot of people don't want to be that hard sell, like, hey, I'm a realtor or I'm a mortgage right. broker, I can do your right. stuff. You know, you don't want to be that, you want people to want to do business with you. They right. want You want them to raise their hand and be like, I want you to list my house or I want you to do mm -hmm. my mortgage. Um, but I guess that comes with um, them knowing that that's what you do. So you do have to put it out there and say you what you're doing, you know. I think, you know, some of the, you know, I've been putting more stuff out there as far as my mortgage business. And I have had people who are like, hey, um, you know, uh, can you find out what this is looking like? You know, what rate this is right. looking like? And they were probably, and there are people, some, the people who have are people who I don't even talk to. They're not even yeah. like my friends that are really true close friends. It's right. just people that we're, you know, that we're on social media together. Yeah. And that, so it does, it's, it is necessary to, ha ha you know, it, mention it. Totally, <laughs> you have to. It's totally normal. I mean, it, marketing 101 from day one, hundreds and hundreds of years ago is people can't buy from you if they don't know you exist. If they don't know what you do. That's yeah. the end of it. So, um, you know, I was just having this discussion with an agent yesterday, actually. I'm like, you mm -hmm. need to put more content out there because people think that you do this, 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 and this. But when you're out there and you're focusing on a specific uh, message so whether that's educating or showing people that you're at listings or I love that by the way talking when they're at a listing and they're showing the yeah, property I'm like oh my god houses. that apartment yes. is beautiful there's, and there's so <laughs> many things that you can do with that right I mean I have yeah. like a gazillion ideas so um, for agents specifically uh, you know I actually have my real estate license by the way but I don't use it ah. my family's been in the real estate <laughs> business for forever but it's okay. not my gig I chose the marketing route so yeah. <laughs> um, good route <laughs> yeah yeah so so I do have an, a working knowledge of it so I think that you know if, that if agents want to come again to that workshop or something like that and then come learn what it is yeah. specifically for you that you want to get out there because mm -hmm. people don't know so let's give it let me give another example so I think the l large majority of people may not realize that you know there's all this talk about is there a recession coming um, if you're watching the media or even shows like Million Dollar Listing New York, you're hearing things aren't selling, things aren't moving, da da da. You know, you're hearing uh -huh. that kind of talk. But what are we seeing here in South Florida? I just this morning saw an article in the Herald that South Florida is actually leading the way in the nation with the most home sales. Or it's like something to yeah. that effect. Mm -hmm. So our story here is not the same as the story right. across the country. We're super so, niche. Yeah, yeah. Right. So people might be scared, but you. So we need to be talking about these things. Yeah. Right? And educating mm -hmm. people. Like, okay, that might be happening other places, but here in Miami, where people want to be right now, still, this yeah. is the reality. Things are yeah. moving. Things are selling. Etc. So mm -hmm. I think that's why that's another reason that it's so important to make sure that you know that, that you are posting those that yeah that you're talking about it, especially yeah, the trending say, stuff. Right. You want to get you know what's the number one thing that realtors want? They want listings, right? So right. Um, they want to work with sellers. So to get that, you have to again be showing that people know who you are because there's yeah. this whole concept also called social proof. So when people are googling you, they want to see that you exist, that you have a professional digital presence, and that you actually know what you're talking about. And that's what right. it comes down to. Yeah, I like that. A digital presence, a professional digital presence. Yeah. Um, that's important. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. And with that said, I, I you know, there's another thing which I, I, um, I, see, I see a lot, and, and, we, and I talk a lot with, uh, with realtors or people in my own industry, um, and that's, you know, the following and the size of people's following. And mm -hmm. so here's the question, because I, I know, which I didn't know. So my daughter who is studying marketing oh, tells yeah. me, oh yeah, mom, but there's people who, you know, buy their, yes. their, their followers. I'm yes. like, what? Yes. <laughs> they buy their followers? So I just discovered that and I thought I was blown away. I was like, that's terrible. Because, you know, it's not, because at the end of the day, even if you have 10,000 people following you, if they're not organic, what does it matter? Like if they're not tuning in and what, you know, I mean, I guess, cause when I go to somebody's profile and I see they have 20,000 followers, I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's, so it's impressive <laughs> aesthetically, but I think people are becoming more aware that that actually is a practice. So, um, you know, there's apps and things, so there, you can buy fake followers and then there's mm -hmm. apps in there that help your account reach more people. Um, so again, that's another strategy that I chat with people one-on-one -on -one about if it makes sense to their specific brand. Right. But I think people are so interested in, oh, how many followers do I have? How many fans do I have? How many of this? Right. How many of that? But again, I think 
people are over focused on that. I mean, I don't know if you guys have heard, but Instagram is actually in other countries right now. It's going to come to the U S eventually removing the likes. From yeah. Your I post. heard that. So, I heard that because they're like, That'd be they're, right. they're like, <laughs> <laughs> well, because the thing is that we don't want people focused on a, being a popularity contest. Like that's getting right. away from what we're trying to do. And it really is. So I'm going to give you a personal example. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the missing Instagram page and you see we have we put content on every day I do the videos every week I have a decent number of followers it's not a ton um, right but they're local people who have gotten to know me um, and the thing that always surprises me is so I told you I put out those videos I may not get a bunch of likes on those videos or a bunch mm -hmm. of comments or it may not, it's not going to, it's not going viral. It's nothing like that. <laughs> and it gets frustrating, right? I'm like, man, you know, I'm putting in all this effort. I'm not getting the likes right. and the comments, but unfailingly I go somewhere to a business networking event or I just run into somebody at a party. Oh my God, I love your videos. It happens at yeah. least once a week. So people are absorbing your content. Yeah. And paying attention, even if you aren't, you don't think that they are. So yeah. when it comes down to the numbers thing, I think people are too focused on that and not enough. That makes a lot of sense. Build my brand and let people continue to watch me because people watch before they take action. So That's true. That makes a lot of sense. And it's funny because I, you know, I, st I was now I'm back at it again, but there was a while there that I had stopped. But prior to that, I was putting out a lot of videos like mm -hmm. once a week. And you know how much effort that takes to do mm -hmm. one, one video. So I was putting out videos every week and I was sending it to my email list and I was doing all of that. And, you know, the same thing. I'm like, no one's watching this. Right. This is like so discouraging. And I went to an event, an evening. It was, I think it might've been my birthday, um, my brother's birthday party. And there was this one a uh, real estate agent who's a good friend of my brother's and we've never done business together. And uh -huh. he's actually very, you know, uh, popular and very sought after. And he's like, Hey, great videos. I, those are really good. I'm like, do you watch them? Like, exactly. <laughs> so exactly. It's, it, you're right. You're a hundred percent right. Cause I do get that often as well. Yeah. Yeah. And people, you know, they just think about how you're using social media. Maybe you're not like liking everything and commenting everything and whatever, right. but you're, you're check, you're checking it out. You're seeing what people are yeah. doing. You're absorbing content. You're, and the, again, the thing is that you want to build relationships. So you want people to know that you're, you know what you're talking about. You mm -hmm. put in some of that personal stuff because you want to show who you are. People do business with people that they like and that they feel that are alike them. That's just the way it is. And, yeah. you know, so I think that that's important to also keep in mind. And, you know, when you're, when you're doing all these things, it's not always just about the numbers. It's about yeah, becoming it's about top of mind mm -hmm. for your, your niche and what you do and in your personal audience. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes a lot of sense. It's, um, I, um, I think I've mentioned this to you before you've seen it. Um, I follow Amy Porterfield and mm -hmm. I did the Marie Forleo, uh, oh, yes. uh yeah, yeah, course yeah, yeah. and all yeah. that, which I love. And one of the things that they talk about, um, and it's about the same thing about the numbers and the amount of likes and how many people follow you and all that stuff. It's really, it doesn't matter how many people follow you. If you're, if the people who do follow you are organic and they're in, an engaging audience, mm -hmm. you might have, I don't know, 200 followers and you can probably get more leads and business and opportunity from those 200 who are truly engaged and truly right. there because they like, and they connect right. with you right. than somebody who has, you know, a 5,000 following and right. has no connection with these people who exactly. are following them. Exactly. So I thought that that made a lot of sense. And I was like, okay, that exactly. makes sense. <laughs> so that's like, that's a disadvantage. I think in buying followers, you're not getting sure. anything other than, than someone like oh look they have a million followers but people are getting smarter they're going to look at your follower count and if they see yeah. they all have fake names or they start clicking on things and there's no bio no photos in their feed whatever or you have you know a hundred thousand followers but your posts are getting 10 likes mm -hmm. something's not adding up here so all of that stuff people are becoming much more aware of that and so it's not really, <laughs> yeah. you know, you want to focus more on the, on the organic and building that out and, and yeah. building your brand and the people will come. Come. Yeah. Yeah. And to spend money on fake stuff, like that's not going to produce any, no. anything for you. It's better no. to maybe spend it on like a, a smart Facebook ad or yeah. something or an event or like the workshop you're having. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. So, okay. Well, that's great. Is there anything else that you want to add as far as like maybe for realtors who are looking to, Either, you know, if they want to do it themselves or if they do want to get 
um, you to review their their social media and give them you know like some advice or how how could they um, you know work with you? Yeah, so we actually so I'll give everyone kind of like a quick overview of what it is that we do here. So we basically work on three levels. One is we'll do your full on con we'll do your full on management. So those are for the mm -hmm. people that just they don't want to focus on it. They want to be completely focused on their business and they want someone else to run everything, including mm -hmm. ads coming up with content, photography, videos, that's us, we, we, we okay. have that level. Then we have um, if people just need content. So let's say you wanna manage your social media on your own, but right. you don't have time to come up with the content for what you're gonna post and a plan and all that, we can okay. also do just that and then feed it to you and then you post it and you manage your comments and your that's likes cool. and do all that kind of stuff, right? So you, kind mm -hmm. of, you manage your pages on your own, we just come up with the content on your behalf. Um, and then the third one is, is consulting. So that's basically just what it sounds like. We'll meet one-on-one -on -one and we will look at your plan. We'll come up with strategies. It's something we can do at once. We can do it ongoing. Um, it's really up to the individual situation. So um, with that said, you know, we do have that, that workshop coming up next week. It's a two hour workshop just on Instagram. And we're gonna start with really digging into def defining your brand, defining mm -hmm. your message, who's your audience, what do they really wanna hear, stuff like that. And okay. then from there, we're gonna build out your messaging strategy, your content strategy, your content plan. I'm gonna show you how to do all of these things Okay. Um, and you're, so you're going to walk out with a workbook with the in hand of your of like your plan moving forward, and you're going to have a deeper understanding if you're going to do it all. How do you you know get get started with that, and how do you continue to approach that even after the workshop? So awesome. um, and something really cool that I um, because I'm I'm just a big believer, and I hate when I take courses and then I walk away and I'm like, okay, now what? So yeah. <laughs> so for everybody that comes, I'm also doing a free 30 minute one on one consultation with them um, at some point after the workshop. We'll schedule. That's that. awesome. Yeah, that's I, very I, good. I just don't I just don't like that. I don't I don't like that feeling of okay, I just spent this money and I spent this time and I still yeah. don't understand what I'm doing. Like that's a bad feeling. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I'm really giving people, I'm really, really passionate about making sure that people are educated and that they're comfortable. So, yeah. Um, that's that's awesome because I know that people want, you know, and I'm a course taker, like I've taken courses and I, you know, the one thing I think that I have wished when you take a course and you invest all this money in a course is that, you know, you will get a little time, like a personalized thing to say like, Hey, yeah, if you do this, you know, because that's what people are looking for, just right. some guidance to see exactly, you know, they're doing it, but they want a little guidance. And I think right. that's a great, a great um, bonus that you're giving them. That's awesome. Yeah. I so just, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm just, I'm really big on that. I just, I don't yeah. really like, it. I've, you know, I've spent like thousands of dollars on things before. And then like when it's over, it's over. And I still feel lost and not, oh, that and sucks. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, that's so know? cool. Well, so. that's so cool. So I'm really excited and I hope to be attending as well. I'm going to save Yay. my spot. Yeah, and I hope anybody spot. watching on here will join. And um, if you're real estate, I think Misty is awesome. She's done presentation at different um, real estate offices. So she really knows her stuff and she can really, really help. Um, even if it's just a consultation, right. um, I know I'm going to get it done. So you guys should check it out too. So yeah, I want to thank you, Missy, thank for you. being on here with me My and pleasure. taking the time and, you know, helping me to help other people to get the word out and learn a little bit more because we're all in it. All yes. of us. Yes, definitely. So I hope that <laughs> this was really helpful and anything that you guys need, just, you know, like I said, awesome. I like to be a resource. So always feel free Perfect. to reach out. <laughs> All right. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. And we'll talk soon. I'll Yay. see you next week. Yay. Thank you. See All you right. soon. Bye. Bye.